Well, it's been an upsetting campaign, hasn't it, John? Yeah. Well, you know, we got to deal with it, but it's, it's only four years. Exactly. Whatever happens, it's only four years. That's and right. we're just now a few weeks from Election Day, which means it's time for every American to perform their civic duty, threatening to move to Canada if their candidate doesn't win. <laughs> it happens. Talk like this happens every four years. Canada's like America's safety school. <laughs> so I started to wonder, if you really did want to move to Canada, what would that take? So for you, the viewer, I found out. Jim? I met with Toronto-based Canadian immigration lawyer Andrew Cumming to find out how to turn over a new maple leaf. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Pleasure to meet you. So uh, what do we got here? Ask me, ask away on behalf of my audience. So uh, your name exactly as it appears on your passport. It's uh, Stephen Colbert, C-O-L-B-E-R-T. Stephen, do you have any nicknames? Let's see, um, Steve, uh, Steve Arino, Eight Ball Hambone, uh, Brangelina. Okay. Steven, how old are you? How old do you think I am? You don't... Don't worry about my feelings. Just shoot from the hip. You're not gonna... You're not gonna... You're not gonna hurt... Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. What do you think? How old do you think I am? 52. Okay. All right. I mean, I apologize. I mean, correct. Good for you. Good for Canada you. Sex? Sure, yeah. Let's do it. I'll take that as male. What? Color of your eyes. Tell me what color they are. Do you remember? Dark brown. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. You're, very, you're a very attentive lover. Your eyes are beautiful. Thank They're you. like jade. They're like polished jade, like precious stones that I, I found in a tomb in a forgotten valley somewhere in Mongolia. And as I held the, the glistening stones in my hands and run the fresh spring water over them to reveal their, their agate glory. That will not assist with the application. Well, Let's not. move along. Mm -hmm. You do have beautiful eyes. Thank you. Any criminal issues we need to be aware of? Not any, that you need to be aware of. Any concerns with war crimes or crimes against humanity? I'm not concerned at all. And no previous convictions? Convictions? Yes. No. Excellent. So then I need you to sign this paperwork. And um, do you have a photo? We need immigration pictures. OK, I got one, I got one right here. Yeah. Um, Stephen. Uh, your eyes are not brown in that picture. Nope, they're not. The lighting in here is bad. But this is what I look like when I'm properly lit in Canada. So, Stephen, let's assume we can get you permanent residency in Canada if you wanted to move to Canada. I have to warn you, there would be eventually a citizenship test in order for you to become a Canadian citizen. Okay. And I think it would be worthwhile to go through some of the questions so you'd get a bit of a flavor for what's involved. Are, are you ready for that? I'm um, in. How are members of Parliament chosen? Oh, um, a lumberjack competition? Mm -hmm. The octagon? The Canadian octagon? No. Two men enter, one man apologizes? No. No? <laughs> no. no? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Uh, let's, 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 move let's on. try this one. Sure. Name two Canadian symbols. The maple leaf and the bare naked lady. I'm going to give you half a check for half that. Half a check for that. Yes. All right. Great. All right. Things turn around now. Uh, what are the three branches of government? Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. The NHL, Tim Hortons, and Alan Thicke. I will have to give XX and X to that. Triple X. Stephen, what are the three responsibilities of citizenship? Uh, to defend the queen for some reason. Uh, protect children from wandering polar bears. Adding unnecessary use to words like flavor and color. Oh, and you must be able to sing at least one Gordon Lightfoot song at karaoke. Can you do that? Name one. Name what? The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Legend lives on from the Chippewan down of the big lake they call Gitchigumi. What else? Name it. Sundown. Sundown, and you better take care if you find you've been creeping around my back stair. I am very impressed. You could read my mind, love. What a tale. Ten degrees and getting colder down by Boulder Dam that day. I heard you talking in your sleep. That's right, yes, I heard you call. Okay. Carefree Highway. 
Let me slip away on second cup of coffee and I still can't face the day. That is impressive. Through the woodlands, through the valleys comes a horseman wild and free. Tilting at the windmills passing, who can the brave young horseman be? I'm going to give you a check for that. I that heard you talking younger... last night. That's right, yes, I heard you call. But I could hardly hear the name you spoke. It's a name I don't recall. Heartbreaking. How come people don't sing more gourd? Come on! I'm a Canadian. I bet Justin Trudeau couldn't name that many Gordon Lightfoot songs. I can sing them, baby. That was very, very impressive. Thank you very much. So am I a citizen now? Not quite a citizen. In fact, not even a permanent resident, but uh, we would love to have you. Well, Andrew, I'd love to be had. Thank you so much. <laughs> Canada, here I come. Maybe. We'll see what happens on November 8th. Good luck. Thank you, Canada. We'll be right back with Tiger Woods.